Hello, welcome to this demo for workflow creation. This is the app landing page. We have a list of all the apps. I'll go inside the demo app that we have created. This is the demo app that has been created. Now there's an option where I can create a workflow. Let me create a new workflow by clicking on this button. It'll ask me for the workflow name. Add some name. I don't want to select it as a subflow. If I select it as a subflow, I can use this workflow within other flows, but I do not want to do this right now. Let me create a simple workflow. This is a mandatory flow. So whenever this app is executed, I want this workflow also to be executed. This is right now just a stateless uh, is what we are supporting. Uh, in the future, there will be a stateful option as well. Let me add some description. Demo workflow. I'll save and continue. As soon as I do that, it takes me to the trigger page. In the trigger page, there are three options, webhook, web request, and schedule. Webhook is for asynchronous request. Web request is for synchronous request. And schedule is if you want to schedule your workflow execution in a timely manner. Now, the, this is the uh, endpoint that the third party systems uh, will call to execute the workflow from outside. Now, this URL will be common for an app. So under an app, if it has multiple workflows, all the workflows will use the same URL. Now to differentiate workflow execution, we need to define some workflow triggers. To do that, we will set up the trigger conditions manually. Now this is the payload configuration section where I define what is the payload going to be from the outside system. This is a JSON schema where I can define some key and some value. It can be any such structure, any nested uh, JSON structure is also fine. Say in some name. You can also add some headers. So you can define some headers, say token name with some token value. Also, some query parameters can also be defined. So, we have defined the payload configuration. Now, we can add the trigger condition. So, it has an option for AND and OR. I'll select the header and in the token name equals some value. Execute my workflow. Similarly, I can add an additional, say, key equals some value execute my workflow so what we are saying is uh, when this url is hit or when this router is called when this endpoint is uh, called and the payload configuration has these values and they match the trigger condition please execute my workflow also we need to define some user identifier to say from which user the request is coming from. So once we do that, we can save and continue. Add some input fields. This is the workflow level input fields. I can add some key and just define something and save and continue. So I've created my workflow. Now I need to design my workflow. I, we will do that in the next video. Thank you.